As you create more Autolisp files, you may begin to find that some of your files are useful for some disciplines, yet not for others. And you may see that your Lisp files start to logically separate along the lines of your CUI or custom user interface files. The CUI file itself gives you a way to automatically load Lisp files that are useful for that particular CUI file. So to get at this functionality, I've entered the CUI command. This can also be accessed from the Manage tab, the CUI interface icon right here. This brings you into the CUI itself. Scroll down past the workspaces and other functionalities until you find the Lisp Files tab down near the bottom. Simply right-click on this and say Load Lisp. You'll now navigate to a file folder where you've maintained all of your Lisp files, and you can simply load in one or any number of them using click, shift, click, control, click methodologies. Say open, and you'll see those files added to the list that will be automatically loaded. And the interesting thing about this though is that the CUI file will only load the actual name that is shown here in its list. Note, there is no specific path there. So this means that either these files must exist in a path that is specified in your support search directory, or these files must be in the same path location as the CUI file itself. Now for the purposes of managing this, I would recommend that you keep them in a unique path and that add that to your support search path in your options screen. It's as simple as that. The advantage to this will be whenever you move this CUI file or migrate it forward to the next release of AutoCAD, this list of Autolisp files will be maintained for you as a function of the CUI and will be migrated forward automatically. So this is a very clean way to keep a list of only those files that make sense for you to load based on the discipline of your CUI. All there is to it. Good luck.